What's the best webcam available? Well, I'm using it right now and it's not a webcam. This is the built-in webcam from my M1 MacBook Pro. This is a Logitech Brio, a $200 USB webcam. This is the $300 Opal C1. It claims to be the world's first professional webcam. This setup is a high-end camera and lens worth over $5,000. It took me 10 minutes just to dial it in. And this webcam setup is an iPhone 14. It only took me a few seconds to set up. So which do you prefer? The savvy video producer will probably tell you the high-end video camera is the way to go, but the iPhone beats it in almost every way. I've seen a ton of webcams, and in fact, I've recommended many of them myself. Even as recently as 2022, I was recommending this crazy setup with desk lights, arms, and fancy mirrorless cameras running into HDMI to USB converters. Don't be fooled into buying a bunch of fancy gear. When I'm judging a webcam to recommend, I'm thinking about three things. One, can it do well in less than perfect lighting situations? Two, is it easy to set up? And three, does the overall image quality look professional? Of all the webcam setups I just showed you, the iPhone checks all three of those boxes. It still looks great in less than perfect lighting. It's dead simple to set up, and the image quality can compete or even exceed that of high-end cinema cameras. Which is why I'm awarding it best webcam of the year. How did I get my phone turned into a webcam? Well, it's all thanks to a fancy feature called continuity camera. All you need is a Mac running macOS Ventura or later, and an iPhone running iOS 16 or later. No wires, no extra apps needed. It kind of just works. When you're in an app like Zoom, QuickTime, or even Wistia, just select your iPhone from the camera settings, and it switches over to your iPhone's rear camera. Side note, have you tried Wistia Live yet? Give it a shot for your next webinar. Click the link in the description to learn more. The only thing you'll need to figure out is how to mount your phone above your screen. We're using this magnetic mount from Belkin. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, there's no way my phone can be an expensive cinema camera. But thanks to the iPhone's fancy image processing, you can actually get an image with a higher dynamic range than what you can get out of an expensive cinema camera. Here's all the webcams from before in a more challenging lighting situation. On the Logitech, the background is way overexposed and my face is kind of underexposed. The Opal C1, you know, the professional webcam, it's underexposing my face and way overexposing the background. On the R5C, if I expose for my face, then the windows are all blown out. The iPhone, on the other hand, uses image processing to properly expose my face and the background. This is by far the best looking option. The cherry on top of the iPhone's image processing chops is a feature called Studio Lighting. If you're in a situation where the lighting isn't great, just switch to Studio Lighting from the control center. Your iPhone will simulate the look of a well-lit scene. See? The background dims as my face pops out of the scene. It's almost like I've been professionally lit by professional lights. But, as you can see, no professional lights. Another huge bonus with continuity camera, your webcam is now wireless which means your webcam is no longer tethered to your computer. Handy if you want to live stream footage from the back of the room or you want to go handheld. I make videos for a living. I have access to all sorts of production gear, but my webcam of choice is my iPhone. Your webcam isn't the only thing that can make or break your shot. We have tons of tips for helping you look good and feel comfortable on your next webinar, Zoom call, or video recording. Check out our video on how to look good on any webcam.